As snow covers the mountains and closes the roads, the Great Basin looks lifeless. Some would call it desolate. The aspens have lost their leaves and the migratory birds have flown south for the winter. But winter is essential to life in the Great Basin, starting with snow, the major source of water in this area and the foundation of all life. There is no doubt that winter is harsh. The shorter days and freezing temperatures drive plants such as sagebrush and trees such as pinyon pines to stop flowering or producing nuts. To deal with this change, many animals migrate or go into hibernation, but there are those that stay and resist the winter. For them, what is a time of decreased activity is not a time of inactivity. Deep snow on the mountains pushes deer, mountain lion, and other wildlife to lower elevations, where the maze of tracks across the surface of the snow can be an invaluable indicator of animals' ranges and activities. For those that resist the winter, the presence of snow splits the outside world into two parts. There is the world above the snow and the subnevian world beneath. Standing tall in the world above, the angled shapes of evergreen pines prevent heavy snow from accumulating and breaking their branches, while their needles allow them to glean energy from the sun on the short winter days. For smaller plants and animals, that snow provides protection from predators and acts as a blanket of heat, insulating them from the cold winds and temperatures above. And then, spring. The days get longer and the snow begins to melt, forming streams and springs. Without snow, the Great Basin would lose its main source of water. Without water, there is no life.